All right, guys, I'm back again with another project I'm going to be doing today. We just recently ripped our wall out. Well, we cut like kind of like a kitchen window, I guess you could say, in our wall. So we have a short part of the wall that's left. And my wife was looking for something that we could put cell phone chargers or keys, whatever you want to put there, just to make it look right since it's a dead space. So I went to my local Lowe's and got me some lumber. Again, this is going to be another cheap project. But what I'm going to build is a console table. I'm going to attempt to build a console table, but we're going to see how it turns out. So anyhow, yes, it is cold in here. If you can see my breath, I got my wood stove going, but it ain't got piped up yet. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you exactly what okay. I'm Okay, so here's the lumber list. Pretty simple. This right here is a 1 by 12 by 8 foot long, just knotty pine, cheap lumber. I think it's like 12 bucks. I bought... I really don't think I need but three, but I bought four just in case. But I bought four just regular old pine two by four studs by eight feet long. This is going to be the top. This is what most people call a project panel. And it's just, it's, it's already finished, ready to go, ready to stain. As you see, it's got the plastic on it to protect it. So this is actually 16 inches wide and four feet long. And if you're curious, that's the maker. And this, this right here was bought at my local Lowe's. So that's going to be the top. I'm going to cut these down. These are going to be the two center shelves. And of course, the two by fours is going to be the braces and the legs. Okay, I don't have anything to go off of. All I got is a picture, so I don't have any dimensions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down, I've already measured my spot. I know I want it 32 inches tall. That's to the complete top. It's going to be four feet long, 16 inches wide. That's why I bought the 16 inch wide project panel. But all my other cuts in between, I have no idea what they're going to be yet. So I'm just going to go along and I'm going to write them down in case any of y'all need the specs and want to build the exact same size table. So it's going to be kind of like a work in progress. So I'm going to go along and write it down as I go. That way I'll know exactly what length I cut everything. So I needed my legs to be 31 and a quarter. That way when I put the three quarter inch project panel on the top for the top shelf it's going to make it 32 inches so what i just realized is i bought four two by four by eight foot in lengths and i really only needed two two by four by eights to get the six legs that i need out of that like i said this is a work in progress so if you're cutting them down at 31 and a quarter to make it 32 inches tall you would only need two two by four by eight foot in length okay I've got my project panel laid out, and this is what I'm going to do. I want a two inch overhang all the way around the board. This is going to be the top piece. So of course, I'm going to put a two by four leg here. I've already drawn that out, and then I'm going to put one here also. So what I needed to do was figure out what was center. So I'm taking two inches off each end, which is going to make it this internal box that I drew out 44 inches. And of course, half of 44 inches is 22 inches. So what I did was I measured 22 inches and made my line dead center. And of course, three and a half inches is half of that would be an inch and three quarters. So I measured an inch and three quarters this way. And then I did an inch and three quarters this way, which gives me the full, the full three and a half inches for the two by four and just drew it out. So with me doing that, taking the time of drawing this out now, I can go by my marks and I know exactly how long I'm going to have to cut my center braces to go from the leg to each leg. So I'm going to go ahead and measure them down and get them cut and we'll move on. Just in case my babbling that I just did didn't make any sense, this will give you a better sight picture. So here's how my legs are going to be. They're just the two by fours. And I want the, like I said, I want the two inch overhang. I want this one dead center of the table and then the two inch overhang over here. So now what I'm gonna do, if I can back up, is I'm gonna measure the distance between this two by four and this one, because I'm gonna run, I'm gonna rip on a, my table saw a two by two, or pretty much an inch and a half by inch and a half, and that's what I'm gonna run in between here to brace these, mount the table, and then to do the other sections for the other shelves. All right, like I said before, if you've ever been to Lowe's, Home Depot, or wherever, trying to pick out lumber, you will literally have to dig through an entire stack to try to find some that's straight. And I needed the two by twos and they had none worth looking at. So what I'm gonna do is 
this leftover or extra two by four by eight foot that I've got, I'm gonna take and set my table saw up to rip off an inch and a half of this. And I'm just gonna make my own two by twos out of this pretty much and do the cross braces. So I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up and get that cut. Now that I got these cut down, these two by twos, which is real size of inch and a half by inch and a half, I've been done my figure and I'm gonna need 12 of the longer cross braces and they're gonna to have to be cut down at 16 and three quarter inches long. And then I'm gonna to have to cut down four more two by twos at nine inches long. That's the ones that's gonna be the short side of the table. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these 12 cut and move along. Out of one two by four by eight foot length stud, if you choose to rip them on a table saw, I was actually able to get all, all of these minus the two, I got 10 out of the two by four, plus two of the little short nine inches. So if you've got an extra, you might have to buy another two by four because you're gonna have two of the 16 and three quarters and two nine inches that you're gonna be missing if you do it out of one two by four. So luckily, I've got a lot of scrap two by fours laying around the shop, so I just cut what I needed out of these. So just to recap, one two by four by eight, you will get 10 of, 10 of the braces, the longer braces, and you'll get two of the nine inch short braces out of that one stud. I forgot to mention that you're gonna also need two of these at nine inches. They're, they're gonna be at the very bottom of the little shorter braces so basically what these is for is when you put them put the legs together it's just going to keep it keep the leg from twisting over time if it gets moisture in the wood so two of those at nine inches now i'm gonna cut my one by 12 by eight foot down to two sections of 37 inches for the center shelf and the bottom shelf Okay, like I said before, this is a work in progress because I've never done one of these before and I really don't have anything to go by other than that picture. So with that said, I bought one by 12 by eight foot boards, all right? You don't have to buy the one by 12s because you could actually buy the one by 10s and save yourself probably three or $4 per board. Because what I realized is right here is where a two by four is going and a two by four. And then in this slot right here, is going to be that that two by four brace okay the one by the two by twos or the one and a halves that i cut they're going to run parallel between the two by fours here so with that said the only section of shelving i'm going to need is going to have to be within these lines here and turns out to be it's going to be nine inches across and it's going to be 37 inches down until it reaches this edge here so you don't have to have the one by 12s, the one by 10s would work. Wish I would have known that before I bought it, but that's how you learn. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, this is kind of like an upside down view. There's the legs. If this was the bottom, this would be the braces, the two by four braces on the end, and that one by 12 that I just had to rip down to nine inches wide. So it's gonna, the inner shelves are actually gonna fit in between all of these studs or two by fours that I've cut. Now I'm gonna get out my Craig jig and I'm gonna drill pocket holes, one on each end of every one of these supports. I got all my pocket holes done. I got all the boards sanded, ready to go. It's a whole lot of pocket holes. But anyhow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a three inch gap between the floor and the very first shelf. I have this laid out now. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the bottoms of the boards up with these lines and drive the pocket hole screws through and then i've got my next set which is here so i'll go ahead and get those lined up and get everything put together all right i've got the frames together and i've got the lower shelf and the upper shelf in so now all i got to do is put the project panel on the top here 
and screw it in with the pocket holes that I have there. All right, since this wood is so rough, what I did was, if you can see right here, I went back and put putty in all the uh, bad spots, which this putty I use is, I think it's made by Elmer's. It goes on purple, and then when it dries, it goes to the natural wood color. So I went ahead and puttied all the bad spots, and it's so cold out here, it's gonna take it a while to dry. So I'm gonna let all this dry, then I'll go back to sanding it, to make it smooth. All right, there's the finished product after the stain and the paint. All right, so that's it for this project. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you got any questions, shoot me a comment, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Like always, have a nice day, and thank you for watching.